You're watching News 24 Live. Bulls and box centre Jesse Creel graces our studio this afternoon as we gear up for the 2016 Super Rugby season, which starts next weekend. Jesse's also going to tell us about some of his nutrition and training secrets. Jesse, thank you so much. It's a pleasure to have you in our studio. Thanks for having me here. I believe you're down for Jan Serpentine's wedding. Yeah, coming okay. up for the weekend, so looking forward to it. Okay, and then of course back to Pretoria as you guys train for your big uh, North-South derby against the Stormers. So I'm going to start off with some rugby questions before we get on to your, your training stuff. You've just come back from a stint in Japan, becoming very popular with um, a lot of South African rugby players is, is, is doing a stint over there. Why so, and, and how was the experience? I think um, obviously guys like Ferri de Priya, um, Andres Becker, Jacques Free, they've all been there before and then obviously in the Bach camp you hear how great it is over there, mm. the culture, the time you get away from rugby, the time off the field that you get and then also the, the on the field stuff, like the, playing, the, the, the actual rugby and stuff, it's, it's great there, it's good fun, um, obviously financially it's also really good mm. for the guys to go over there, um, it's, it's worthwhile and um, it's also not too hard on your body which is another great thing. So. Yeah, we had a great time over there, really enjoyed it. Um, I'll definitely go back, hopefully sometime soon. But um, yeah, great to be back now and be ready for Super Rugby. Now you played for the Tacoma Red Hurricanes, these J Japanese mm. sides really have these sort of mouthful names. Yeah. Um, of course playing also with uh, Henri Pollard who sadly is sort of yeah. out for the season with an injury. Um, so you said it's, it's, it's better on the body, how are you holding up physically? Yeah, I'm feeling great, mm. obviously. Um, like now but being back in the pools uh, we've been training really hard mm -hmm. so big focus has been on recovery and stuff so the the, the conditioners have been helping us with mm -hmm. that that point uh, quite a lot and um yeah sad to hear about Andre it was a freak accident mm -hmm. basically um did, did his knee while passing passing a ball which which he does all the time and he's one of the best in the world mm -hmm. in doing it so I mean that's just rugby for you injuries will come and go and um yeah but I think the team's looking great and really um amped for the for the game next weekend. Now of course then obviously at the Bulls you guys are going to have a bit of a poser at fly half um, and I read recently that um, that the coach is quite keen to experiment with uh, this kid Moni Libok. Yeah. What can you tell us about him? He's fresh out of school but he can kick them over from 60 meters out. Uh, he's a youngster just just out of school, um, really talented, uh, really uh, energetic, uh, mm. great 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 talent that the Bulls have got up to Pretoria and um, yeah, I think he might get an opportunity sometime soon in the competition. I don't know if he'll, if he'll start next weekend, but um, mm -hmm. I, I'd definitely be uh, really happy to see him get an opportunity. He's a hard worker and um, one for the future. And now your role specifically at the Bulls, I mean, I know that, you, that you've played at fullback for them, you've played at centre for the box. Mm -hmm. um, you were saying earlier off air that you don't mind <coughs> playing, yeah. you know, wherever you're required. Um, where would you feel comfortable this season? I played for Nolis Marais before. Um, the, the, the Blue Bulls coach at the moment and um, he says he's going to use me at probably centre this, this year so I, I don't mind playing centre. Um, I've played centre for him before and um, it went really well so I'll play wherever he wants me to. He's got a great plan, um, he knows what he's doing, he's definitely the man for the job so um, I'll back him with everything that I have. And now the short time that you've been back at the Bulls, um, under Nollis, uh, how different is the, the team culture? What, I mean they, they, you know, they, there's word that they fans can expect more of an expansive type of game from the Bulls, sort of against your sort of yeah. traditional or what you're known for. Um, is that so? Yeah, absolutely. I think Nollis is, uh, is, is one for a challenge. He loves a challenge. He loves it when it's tough. Um, he'll, he'll, he'll always be that, that, that coach to stand up. And I think the Bulls, you'll definitely see, I think you saw in the Curry Cup as well, that, they, that the, the boys threw the ball around. And I think last mm -hmm. weekend we also had a good hit out against the Lions in a warm-up game where we really got to throw the ball around, scored some good tries. And uh, I think that's what fans want to see th uh, these days. They want to see um, attractive rugby. And I think that's, that's where the Bulls are heading at the moment. So it's, it's really exciting for players and for fans. People might not know that you actually have a twin brother yeah. who believe, I believe is also on the books uh, at the Bulls. Um, obviously, uh, you know, you, you've, uh, your career's really sort of uh, shot off. Um, what is that like then, the dynamic between uh, your, yourself and your brother? Um, sort of where one's mm. achievements sort of arch on the others? Yeah, obviously since um, I can remember we've been playing rugby together and we've played all the team, the same mm. teams together. So it obviously it is quite an adjustment playing different teams than him and not mm. having him in the team. But I suppose that's all part of rugby. Um, he's in the Super Rugby squad now, so I'm sure he'll get his, his chance this season. 
So it would be great to play with him. Last year playing S under 20s with him was, was amazing. Uh, we beat the, the All Blacks in um, New Zealand when he was playing 12 and I was playing 13. So that mm. was really a highlight of one of the highlights of my career so far. The, um, there was a, a, a photo which went viral last year, obviously in your uh, sort of semi-final game against the All Blacks with yeah. Sonny Bill Williams sort of uh, sharing his condolences, whatever. Um, tell us about that moment and I guess was there a friendship that started after that? He's a great guy, um, really uh, talented athlete, one of the best athletes in the world. I think he does basically any sport you can think of. And um, yeah, that photo, we just lost it in the semi-final of the World Cup. Um, I really thought we were going to be world champions. Uh, everything, all mm. our preparation, my whole my thoughts, everything was just, I thought I was going to be a world champion and the box was, we were going to be the best in the world. And um, yeah, the final whistle blew and we, we weren't. So it was, I was quite distraught and obviously very disappointed. And then he came over while I was sitting on the field and he just said to me, don't worry, mate, uh, it will all be all right. And he, he helped me up and it was quite nice of him. Shows the character and kind of player he is. So yeah, hats off to him.